Man Ray! <laughs> Yo, what is going on, team, squad, fam? It's your boy, Young Man Ray. And this right here is Continuous Elder Lich. And I already know what you're going to ask. I already know what you want to know. You're trying to inquire about the details of this here deck. Well, don't fret. I got the deets right here in my noggin, man. Let me explain to you about Continuous Eldritch. Now, this deck is a mixture between Eldritch. Yes, I've said it here, folks. Eldritch, that deck that's sweeping the nation. It's fair. It's fun. It's meta. And I don't know how it was able to have all those words live together in harmony and peace. But hey, it did it. Um, it's this deck mixed around with generic trap monsters. Yes, I said it. Generic trap monsters. We got Statue of Anguish Pattern here and... As long as he's face up on the field, if we special summon another trap monster, he's going to be able to pop something on the field. And this is not once per turn. Uh, so as long as we have trap monsters, we're going to be able to pop stuff. Doesn't matter if it's a monster or a spell or a trap. It's getting popped, man. Uh, next, we got Metal Reflect Slime here. He's got 3,000 defense, so he's going to be able to take some punches. But we really are going to be using him to fusion summon into our, an Egyptian God Slime. All right. Now, this guy, he's got 3,000 attack. So he can punch really hard with his hands, all right? And he's also level 10, so he's going to be able to help us XZ into Super Dreadnought Real Cannon Gustav Max, which is just big cowboy. So we're all good there. Uh, we got Angel Statue of Zerne. As long as this card's face up on the field, if your opponent would special summon a monster, you can tribute another trap monster or itself. And if you do, you can negate that special summon. So... It's really good. Just some more negation, some more uh, controly elements that we got going on here. And uh, other than that, we're just playing regular Eldritch, man. So let's see how it does in the replays. I'll see you there. One eternity later. All right, team. In the first duel, we're going to be going up against Necro Valley. And I thought I'd have a harder matchup uh, with this deck, but uh, it was actually pretty easy to combat this guy. So. Let's see what happens. He's going to go first, by the way. He's going to start off by getting that Necro Valley to hand. You know he's going to need that Necro Valley. Now, let's see what Necro Valley does, because I feel like Necro Valley affects all cards, right? Not just monsters. I'm a little confused, so let's just read what it does, all right? Cards in the graveyard cannot be banished, negating. Okay, yeah, so it's all cards. It's not just monsters. I don't know why. I was confused. I didn't know if it was monsters or cards. I don't know why. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, I guess. I don't know. But all right, let's get to it. Uh, this guy's going to search a card with this. Yeah. So it's going to then alert darkness. He's going to send this away. I don't know why he sent this one away. I mean, can't he fusion summon with this one? I feel like he could have had a better chance. Oh, well, actually, he wouldn't have been able to fusion summon because he only had that card. So, I mean, it makes sense that he sent that guy away. Um, this guy, this card is sent to the graveyard. Oh, and then he's going to get a search. So, I mean, yeah, this was the better route to go. I feel him. I, I totally understand what he's doing here. Uh, he's going to hit me with the Royal Tribute, but I don't have any monsters in hand, so I'm not discarding anything today. It's going to be on to my turn. I'm going to have to start off with that Pot of Extravagance because, I mean, who doesn't like drawing two cards? I mean, it's free two cards. You just got to give up, like, six cards out of your extra deck. Who needs them? Um, he's going to activate his trap, and I think this just allows him to special summon, special summon. If traps could be special summon, that would be awesome. Um, actually, they can be special summon. That's what we're playing today. Dreams really do come true. But um, yeah, I just meant to say if spells, like field spells, could be special summon, that'd be interesting. Kind of like land and magic. I don't know. I've been playing a lot of magic lately. If I say anything about magic, just stone me with stones. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to draw two cards, and uh, I never explained what this did. Let me explain what this did. I'm sorry I'm all over the place right now. This card will just allow him to set another Necro Valley if this one gets destroyed. See, it wasn't that hard. See, I know what cards to do. Um, then I'm going to special summon my Eldritch straight from deck, and then I'm just going to put a whole bunch of face downs, because that's what this deck does. Uh, he's going to place this card. That's going to make it so that I can't special summon monsters, but... It doesn't really matter because I'm going to chain everything. From here, I'm going to get my Anguish Pattern Statue Monster thing. Uh, and then I'm going to get my Golden Land guys. From here, it's about to be a strange situation from here. 
because he's going to be able to pop a field spell. Uh, he's going to be able to pop this. Wait, why did I pop two things? Why did two things get popped there? I'm a little confused. Hmm. Hmm. I guess because... I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, he's going to activate another one from the grave. But I pop these two with anguish statue pattern guy. I'm just going to call him statue guy. Cool. Um, from here, he's going to search some things. And he's going to normal summon uh, the gravekeeper's headman. Uh, if this card's special summoned or normal summon, if it's just summoned in any way, he can target a level 4 gravekeeper monster from the graveyard and then special summon it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to special summon an Eldritch from deck because I can do those things. He's going to go into his battle phase and he's just going to swing over my Golden Land cards, but I don't need those guys anymore. They've served their purpose. From there, I'm just going to attack with big monsters. And then I'm going to create my Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max, and he's going to do a solid 2,000 damage to them, so that's going to be nice. He's going to go back into their turn. He's got a Solemn Strike in hand in a search. I'm going to activate all the things right now because I can do that. Um, I now have a Negate on board, and now that he's supposed to summon, I get a pop gonna take out his middle card right here i don't want him to have negates and from there he realizes man this deck is just extremely annoying i'm just gonna quit cool glad he quit because i did not want to play against gravekeepers any longer now this is one of the longer longer what i meant to say is this is one of the shorter duels that i have the other duels are a lot longer so bear with me catch you in the next one one extremely annoying shift later. Alrighty, team, in this next duel, we're going to be going up against Shadows, and man, you know it wouldn't be a Young Man Ray video if I didn't have to go up against, you know, Shadows. So, shout out to Shadows. Let's see what they got this duel up against the homies, the continuous Elder Lich. Yeah, I'm going to start off by uh, putting just all the face downs, you know. That's just how you play Elder Lich, you know. Uh, he's going to start off with a nice old Alistair. He's going to go for the normal summon. Uh, that's going to search him a... Well, you know it's, it's going to search him. I mean, I don't even have to tell you. Uh, but from there, I'm going to activate both of these effects right here. So we can get a special summon on board, an Elder Lich guy from hand. Then so we can get a uh, statue on board so we can get a negate. Oh, we're going to get two negates, so it's all good. Um, from here, he's going to search that invocation. Then he's going to super poly, which was a really good move. Uh, kind of, I think. Not really because <laughs> I didn't have anything to flip face up, but it's all right. He's got a Mechaba now, and he's going to be able to negate things. Uh, I'm going to send that off so I can get a search, and I'm also going to make my Metal Reflect Slime. going to go into my uh, God Slime so I can swing over this uh, Mechaba. From there, I'm going to get my Golden Lord back on the field and make a, a Super Dread Not Real Cannon Gustav Max. That's going to do a good old 2,000 damage to him. Um, from there, he's going to Invocation. I wanted to search things and special summon them onto the board, but alas, he hit me with the Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, so I kind of just special summon this guy for no reason. Well, not for no reason. I'm going to be able to send him away with uh, the Angel Statue, so that's pretty good. Um, but I don't get the special summon with the Elixir. Uh, from there, he makes another Macabre because, I mean, that's the best card uh, Invoke has. Um, from there, he's going to make an Elsadal Construct so he can get a uh, Fusion. Uh, he's going to send a Perform Mage, Trick Clown, and something else. Oh, okay. So they can get Special Summon onto the board because, you know, he likes Special Summons. From there, he's going to attack into my Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max because, I mean, Elsadal Construct just destroys any monster that's Special Summon from the extra deck in battle. Doesn't even have to go into, like, battle calculation. It just does it at the start of the damage step. So, I mean, yeah, doesn't even really have to fight. So, so that gets destroyed, and they swing over my uh, Conquistador. Uh, they're going to go for the special summon on the cross sheep. I'm like, uh, I don't like when he has cross sheeps, so I'm going to go and tribute my guy. But he's like, nah, bro, I still have the negate with the Macaba, so there's going to be no special summon in the gates here. Um, so he negates my stuff, and from there, uh, he's going to get El Shadal, not El Shadal, just regular Shadal fusion back to hand. Um, I'm going to get a search, and then from there I'm going to make my Anguish uh, Pattern Statue guy. 
Um, and then I'm going to get another Eldlixir. So hopefully I'll be able to special summon this turn. Uh, he's going to go for the El Shadal Fusion. He's going to make a Winda. But I don't think that's going to stop me. Um, oh, no, that does stop me. That totally 100% stops me from special summoning because these guys are still monsters when they're flipped up. So they stayed in the uh, extra monster, not extra monster, they stayed in the spell trap zone instead of special summoning into monsters because of Winda. So lame. So, so lame. I hate you, Winda. Boo! But, uh, yeah. So these guys, even when Winda leaves the field, like, these guys don't come back. They just stay here and take up space. So that kind of sucks. Uh, he went for the super poly. Uh, took away my Eldritch dude, but that's okay. We're going to get him back next turn, hopefully. Um, but he does get an El Shadal Construct, and eh, nobody really likes El Shadal Construct, except for people that play Jedals. Um, okay, he's going to be able to special summon another guy. Then he's going to attack me directly with just everything. Oh, except for Makaba, I guess. I'm going to activate El Elixir, uh, but that was just for the bait because, I mean, I needed him to use Negate so I can do other stuff. From there, I sent this to the Banish so I can get a face down here. Then from there, I'm going to bring back my Eldritch guy. Eldritch guy is cool. He's going to swing over Makaba. Then I'm going to get some more searchy searches. And we're back in business, hopefully. Okay, he's going to fusion summon a, Chris, a Grista, I think that's how you say it. Uh, and then uh, when Grista got fusion summoned, um, I don't know what happened, but, you know, he was going to try and get Shadow Fusion back to hand. I think that was maybe Construct's effect or something. Uh, he was going to get that back into hand, but I activated my Aquario of the uh, Golden Land and I banished it. So, therefore, he wouldn't be able to recur it back to his hand. So, he has nothing to swing over. The Eldritch Golden Lord. Honestly, I mean, actually, no. I was about to say, honestly, he should have kept uh, El Shadal Construct on board. But, I mean, Eldritch isn't an extra deck monster. So, she wouldn't have been able to swing over it. So, yeah, it's, the Shadows just had nothing to swing over a 3,500 booty. And then it would have been back into my turn. I would have got searches and all this other stuff. Uh, I could have special summoned another Eldritch during the end phase and made another Gustav Max. And just burnt him and attacked him. So yeah, he realized there wasn't nothing else he can do. If he, just, if he can't keep recurring that Shadow Fusion, uh, it, it just kind of falls apart for him. So that, 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 that was it for him. That was Shadow's, man. But uh, yeah, let's get into that next duel. Three hours later. Alrighty, you guys. In this next duel, we're going to be going up against Pran Kids. And uh, yeah, shout outs to the Haver the Card Man. This is his deck, man. He likes to play Pran Kids. So I decided to... Uh, Show what Pran Kids could do up against Continuous Eldritch. And might I say, it's quite the duel. So they're going to go first. They're going to start off by normal summon and then making the Meow guy from there. You know, they're going to get effects to special summon more Pran Kids. And then they're going to make Doo Doo Doodle Doo. And he's going to cockily doodly do another guy on the board. Uh, from there, he's going to put some face downs. And then it's going to go into my turn. From here, I'm going to banish six so I can get a good old draw, too. But, you know, he's got the Ash Blossom in hand. That's kind of ass. And he's going to fusion summon. So let's see what he makes. From here, he's going to make a Battle Butler. And Battle Butler is a big man, all right? He's a big, strong man. And he has 3,000 attack. I'm a man. A big, strong man. Um, from here, he's going to just get all the pluses, all the special summons. And he's going to drop a Prank Kids plan uh, face down. And he's going to flip one face up. So, you know, he's got double the Prank Kids things going on. Let's see what happens next. He's going to make a ripping, roaring roaster. Uh, from there, he's just going to blow up my whole back row. And he's going to send Meow Meow away for the effect so he doesn't lose him. But that's okay. That's all right. Everything's fine here, folks. Because we're going to be able to search some cards and put some more cards face down. Uh, actually, that's not okay because he's just going to blow up our back row again. This should be once per turn, but it's not. Well, actually, you can only use this effect. Uh, and no, his, his quick effect where he tributes is not once per turn. Which it probably should be. But at the same time, eh, probably not. That's a pretty cool interaction with Meow Meow. I like that. Um, so it's going to go into their turn. They just drew a fusion, so they're going to hit me with the big man. I'm going to get a search off. 
I'm going to take 3,000 damage. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, from here, I'm going to get some searches, put some stuff face down. Then I'm going to send Eldritch and my Pot of Extravagance to the graveyard so I can send Battle Butler to the grave. From here, he's going to be able to bring out Doo Doo Doodle Doo. And I'm going to swing over him. He's going to uh, activate his Prank Kid's plan, and that's going to send everything to his graveyard. No, it's not going to send everything to his graveyard. It's actually going to do the exact opposite. Why do I try to trick you guys? You guys are too smart for me. Uh, it's going to send everything from the graveyard to the deck and extra deck. Um, and it's going to lower my attack. But it's not going to be enough to uh, destroy my Eldritch the Golden Lord. And we're going to do 600 damage to his doo doo doodle doo. From there, he's going to draw an evenly matched. That's kind of nasty. He's got it face down. I'm going to activate my searches, put some more things face down. And then I'm going to special summon an Eldritch the Golden Lord. I'm going to swing for a good old 25,000. Uh, he's going to activate evenly matched, but he did not know that I had a Golden Land forever. So I activate that and negate his evenly matched. Now he's looking a little silly. From here, it's going to go into his turn. It's his draw phase. He's going to get a Lampsies. Lampsies is going to get him a Meow Meow, of course. Uh, from there, he's going to have his Lampsies activate. I'm stupid. I thought that uh, I could banish his uh, Lampsies and his effect wouldn't go off, but his effect still goes off. So, yeah. He's going to do the damage and special summon, and I just wasted that. Um, I actually should have used this on his Meow Meow when I, whenever I had the chance, but I didn't. Uh, his doo doo doodle doo is going to activate. It's going to get him another prank kid and going to be able to send a prank kid's plan. Uh, he's going to get a field spell. From here, he's just going to do shenanigans, such as tributing off his doo doo doodle doo and getting a lamp seized to hand. What does this happen when he tributes this? He tributes this card to prank kids with different names. Add them to your hand. Okay, yeah. So he's going to add two prank kids with different names to their hands. From there, he's going to fusion summon the big man himself. Battle Butler. Uh, his field spell is going to activate. He's going to gain some life points and another special summon. And I don't know what Prank Kids Place does. I think it raised their attack. It can either raise attack or lower attack. I think in this case it raised attack. He's going to swing over my Eldritch to Golden Lord. That kind of sucks. Um, but I'm going to be able to get Golden Lord back on the field. And I'm going to get some searches off. He's going to try and blow up my stuff uh, by... Sending his Meow Meow to the Banished Zone and, and activating his Battle Butler effect. Uh, but sucks for him. Eldritch the Golden Lord can't be destroyed by card effects this turn. You really need to read the card effects. Um, so it's going to go into my battle phase. I'm going to swing over his Roxies. This is going to give me more searches. And now I have a nice back row for his turn. The tables have turned. And now I will be activating everything. I will be special summoning a Golden Lord. I will be popping a back row. I will be taking 3,000 to the face. Except that I won't be taking that to the face. You want to know why? Because I am 3 million IQ. I activated my elixir thing. Then I activated Golden Lore Forever. So I can negate my elixir. So I can send away this guy. So I don't get attacked for that much damage. Because that was exactly 3,000 damage. And I was about to die. So I had to make a quick play. I had to lose some of my resources here. But it was all in the name of winning the game. I had to send this guy off. So big brain play from me. On my Jimmy Neutron shit, all right? But uh, yeah, back onto my turn. I'm going to get a couple of searches because, you know, because, you know, this is Eldritch. Um, From here, I'm going to make another Gustav. Or, or is it the first Gustav? That was last match where I made a Gustav. So I'm going to make my first Gustav. I'm going to do 2,000 damage. And then I'm going to get Eldritch the Golden Lord back on the board. Time for me to swing over stuff or to crash. Crashing is also nice. Uh, but actually, in this case, I do not crash because they use Prank Kid's plan. Send a couple of Prank Kids away and lowers my attack. I'm going to take 1,000. Then he's going to blow up my field using Battle Butler. But alas, I get some searches. From here, he's going to normal summon a Lampsies. I'm going to special summon an Elder Lich from Grave. He's going to do do doodly do his way into some more monsters. I'm going to activate Kunky's Door of the Golden Land to blow up his doodly doodly do. From there, he's going to special summon a Lampsies and a Dropsies. And he's going to search a Fusion spell. Okay, that's actually going to be pretty good for him. 
But I'm going to negate it with Golden Land forever because eh, I don't want him fusion summoning anything that could destroy either my whole back row or all my monsters. From here, I'm going to activate Seven Realms of the Golden Land, but something happened. Oh, I didn't actually activate it. I just flipped it face up so I can uh, send it to Grave and get a Elder Lich on board. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, actually, side fact right here. Um, the Fusion Monster really is kind of lame. Honestly, it's kind of a win more card. It's cool. It's not bad, but it's really not needed, honestly, <laughs> in most situations. I mean, it's cool, but uh, I wouldn't play it just on day to day. Maybe side it. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's really just not that good. But um, yeah, back to uh, his turn. He's going to get a random arch nemesis, Echitos. Uh, he's going to swing over. I am within 500 life points of my life. He's going to put down a face down fansies. Uh, that attack was not enough to kill me. Uh, I'm now going to bring an Eldritch the Golden Lord onto the field with 3,500 attack. Um, from there, I'm going to be able to search a Guardian of the Golden Land. I'm going to do a toasty 2,000 damage. And then I'm going to swing into them for 500 and then destroy his face down. Now it's back on his turn. All he has is a Ash Blossom that he puts face down. I'm going to Golden Land my way into banishing a Battle Butler. Going to then activate Curse Land, but I cannot use its effect because I'd have to pay 800 life points and I only have 500. Um, so I'm just going to use its effect to get uh, El Lich back on the board with 3500 attack. Oh, nasty. Ooh, so disgusting. I'm then going to burn him for 2000 more. And then swing on him for game. And that was a crazy wild back and forth uh, with a lot of ups and downs. A lot of left and rights. I don't know what else it had, but it was crazy, man. I, you, you didn't know who was going to win until the very end, I would say. I was, I was totally a bat. I don't know if that's a word, but I was a bat. I was definitely a bat. That's when you, and then go backwards a little bit. like oh. But okay, anyways, next duel, whatever. Eventually. All right, my squad. In the last and final duel, we will be going up against Orcus Phantom Knights. At least that's what I think this is. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's just see what happens when continuous Eldritch go up against Orcus Phantom Knights. All right, let's do it. I think they go first. Oh, yeah, they're going to start off by searching things to handle reinforcements. They're going to send things to Grave and send more things to Grave using uh, Dark Refer. Uh, from there, they're going to send things to Banish and more things to Banish and even more things to Banish to Special Summon Orca's Nightmare. And you know they got to get their Link Monster on board and got to get their Field Spell so they can get them quick effects. From there, he's going to use Orchestrated Return so he can draw two and send things to Grave. And then he's got a nice little old back row. And he's going to be able to Special Summon Dengirsu out. Actually, no, he won't be able to. Um, no, no, he won't be able to. He has nothing in Grave to send him away. Unless, what does this guy do? Do, 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 target monster. Yeah, um, yeah, no, there's not anything. He could send a, another Orcus to Grave. Maybe that's probably, let's just see what he's going to do. Why am I trying to guess what's going to happen when I could just press the play button and they're going to show me what's going to happen next turn, you know? Let's just see. Okay, it's going to go into my turn. I'm going to draw two because I like to do that. Actually, I'm not going to draw two because I hate drawing two. I like getting hit with Ash Blossom instead, okay? Uh, from here, I'm going to take away his field spell because I don't like quick effects or anything like that. And then I'm going to play some phase downs. Um, it's going to go into his turn. He's going to play a phase down. I'm going to special summon two things, an Elder Lich and an Angel Statue. Uh, from here, he's going to try to bring out his Dengirsu. Uh, but I sent away my Eld Lich to negate that stuff because eh, I don't really like that stuff. Uh, he's going to make a Link Karibo and end his turn. It's going to go back into my turn. I'm going to get another Angel Statue and another Face Down. So that's quite pretty nice. Uh, from here, I'm going to attack into the Link Karibo and his Rusty Bardish. That's not a Rusty Bardish. That's a Shade Brigadine. What am I talking about here? Um, but he's going to hit me with the Phantom Knight's nice Fog Blade so I can't attack. Uh, from here, he's going to Normal Summon Cyber Gadget. And then... And then make, what did he make? Oh, he made a Time Thief Redoer. Okay, he's going to make a Time Thief Redoer. And something happened to him. Maybe he died. Maybe he lived. I don't feel like going back. Uh, Got a face down there. 
Gonna go back into his turn. He's going to activate his field spell, but I really hate this guy's field spell, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna special summon my Hakera of the Golden Land, and I'm gonna banish that joint. And you know, you know they only play one because they feel like, oh, I could just bring it back from the grave. I could just bring it back from the grave. Not today, friend. It's in the banished. How are you gonna get it back? How are you gonna get it back, man? Uh, so he's just going to play a face down, and then he's going to end his turn. It's going to go back into my turn, and I'm going to get a statue, so that's pretty nice. And I'm going to activate <laughs> Nightmare Phoenix instead. Forget the statue, and I'm going to blow up this face down. Uh, from there, I'm going to special summon the Elder Lich. And he negated my effect, so I didn't blow anything up, but he is then going to... Go from Valor into Link Karibo, but that is a bad idea because you can only use one of Link Karibo's effects once per turn. So he's now not going to be able to use his tribute effect to make my monster zero. So I'm going to be able to swing into him with some damage when he could have just took no damage with defense position effect Valor. But hey, man, it happens. It's going to go in my end phase and I'm going to get some more searches. Now it's going to go into his turn. Uh, he's got the parallel XZ, but. Kind of sucks that he has no monster to special summon it to the board. Wait. This special summon. If you link summon. Yeah, he has the link summon first and able to special summon this. So this is kind of just a dead card in hand. Um, Yeah. I'm going to get another Elder Lich on board. I'm going to go into my turn. I'm going to get all the searches because that's just what Elder Lich does. And then I'm going to swing. I'm just going to swing, man. And he's within an inch of his life, so I'm just going to uh, super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max for game, okay? <laughs> just going to do that. It's not really cowboy, but, you know, it's close. And that was, that was the duel, man. That was uh, Horcus Phantom Knights against Continuous Eldritch, man. So, yeah, that was the last uh, duel, the last replay. Glad you guys could watch. I'll see you guys in the deck list. Let's get it. A few moments later. All right, you guys. Uh, that was Continuous Eldritch. And this is the uh, recommendation slash deck list part of the video where I tell you guys what to take out and what to add to the deck if there are any things to add and to take out. <laughs> so, yeah, there is this time because I have been playing this deck more. Um, honestly, this is an older build that I put together. and. Um, I did make some changes. Yeah, I, I made some changes. One of the changes is that I took out Seven Realms of the Golden Land because I honestly didn't feel like the fusion monster was really doing anything for me. This is really a win more card. It's not bad by any means. Um, it just doesn't do anything for the Eldritch playstyle. It doesn't gain you more resources or help you get more of these guys into grave or anything like that. It gets you a mind control or whatever. I mean, I guess that's cool, but it just doesn't do enough for me to warrant keeping it in the deck. So I took it out. After that, I decided to try out reasoning. I thought reasoning would be really cool to play in the deck. Because, you know, you only play three outlets, so you can send all of these cards into Grave and get a whole lot of searches and, you know, pluses and, for multiple turns. But after testing out Reasoning, I realized how, how bad Reasoning is in this deck. Like, I sent my whole deck to the graveyard, and I had, like, seven cards left in deck, and three of them were gold. Well, two of them were golden lords because one of them was special summoned by Reasoning. And I couldn't get any of these searches off because they were all in my graveyard already. So I would totally advise against playing Reasoning um, because it's, it, it's not too good in this deck. Um, I did, however, put in Card Demise because Card Demise just allows you to draw three more cards. And that's just awesome. And you don't really need your cards in hand. If they go to the graveyard, you'll just get some searches. And if they're not in graveyard, they're on the field. So it's all good. Card Demise is really good. You guys should play that, this card in Eldritch. So yeah, uh, for the extra deck, I put in Super Dreadnought. I spelled that name wrong as I was typing it in. Uh, let's see if we can search this man. I put in Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. 
Superdora. Yeah, that's what his name is, Superdora. He's the other good guy. So yeah, I made him. He can work as like protection for your Eldritch, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really make uh, Lee Bay. Um, I don't really see a need for him unless you just want to punch for a game, but that just seems kind of boring to me. So I use him for protection, use him for the burn, and then I just play Eldritch, man. So yeah, that's my recommendations. That's what I would add. That's what I'll take out, and those are the reasons why. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like. Give it a comment. Tell me what you liked about the video. Tell me if my deck sucked. Tell me what recommendations you would make if you would. And let me know what's going on with your Eldritch build, man. Uh, if you want to know when I'm going to post my next video or know when I'm streaming or anything like that, you should check out my Young Man Ray Twitch, the official Twitch. I said Twitch. I meant to say Twitter. The official Young Man Ray Twitter, where you can get my updates and memes and all types of nice things. Don't go to my Twitch unless you want to look at my streams. But I'm not going to be on there as frequently as I am on my Twitter. So, yeah, go to the Twitter and the Twitch. Do both. Fuck it. Don't listen to me. I'm just a guy. But, uh, yeah, this is it. That was Continuous Outlitch. I was Young Man Ray. Uh, there's nothing else for me to say, but I'm just going to say some more words as I ramble along into infinity. Oh, wait, no, I stopped. All right, until next time, catch y'all.